her, have her drawn and quartered, uh, really torture her, really, really make yeah. sure she feels the pain. Okay. Keep her. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a Nickelback concert. <laughs> So I'm Cassidy Wilson and I'm a co-president of the Fugees and we are actually starting our second hour at the 12 hour show right now. So we have 11 hours to go still. Um, we've had a lot of stuff happen so far, the sun went down, Kira had a baby um, and we ripped the, um, ripped the sign down a couple times, it fell through. It's going to be a long night, but it's been a lot of fun so far, and I love how big the crowd is right now. Like, it's awesome to see so many people come, and someone, like, walked by and yelled how much they loved the Fugees and that they would be back soon, so it's definitely going to be a fun show. We have a lot more people than I thought would show up. Um, hopefully this uh, sticks around. We're doing, you know, jokes after jokes after jokes. It's going really well. We're getting a lot of uh, crowd participation, you know, a lot of um, excitement from them. I mean, they're laughing really well, so hopefully we just we stick up with this. We keep going, and it turns out really well. It's been great. So far, we've had a steady crowd. Um, we've had a lot of fun people coming in, a lot of fun suggestions. The sign's only ripped once, so we are so good. Okay, it's ripped twice. So we have been going from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and we just about reached the halfway mark and it's been really fun. We have gotten a really great crowd which is awesome. So much support from the students which is so nice because I know there are so many things you could be doing on a Friday night. We've been doing this for about seven hours, budget seven and a half. But uh, it's fun. I mean, we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't like it. Um, but yeah, 12 hour show, going great. Everyone's doing well. We're in the home stretch, sort of. Only got five hours to go, which seems like yesterday. I don't know. I don't let magical powers like you I don't remember what I did before this, but. Uh, no, I don't. Wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. It's a lot of fun. We've had a great audience so far, which has been amazing. Um, and right now it's almost hey, 2 o'clock, I think. And um, we still have a pretty sizable audience, which is really encouraging for the rest of the night. Um, I'm ticklish here. <laughs> so we have 12 hours of improv, and it is absolutely transcendent. Like, there is nothing that compares to this. Like, these people that you have coming in, <laughs> are wonderful. Like, the best audience you could possibly have. And you hear that scene, the game ending, that applause? There's nothing that compares to that. Now, most people, when they asked me about the 12-hour show, um, they were like, so, Kira, 12 hours, that's kind of a long time. And I was like, you bet your dollar dime, or whatever that expression is, that that is a long time. But you know what? You know what? No, we're not going to recycle information. No, we're not going to reuse the same jokes. You know why? Because we are the Fugees. And you know what? We haven't done it once. Well, I did do it once because I was playing a game and I wasn't paying attention and I recycled the exact same joke that someone had just used about a lion. But we won't go into details about that because everyone else is perfect. We started doing jokes and then the bombs started to fall. And the fire alarms went off and we all got underneath the desks. And there was no hope for civilization. We thought we could make the world a better place, but unfortunately, the end was too near. And so it goes again at five in the morning. Civilization is over, and thus, comedy is dead. I'm done.